This video shows how to use the Syntax Search Editor to construct a search. It demonstrates some of its capabilities and shows ways to refine searches. For demonstration purposes, we'll use the Cascadia resource, but the principles are the same, whichever tagged resource you use. There are two ways of creating a new Syntax Search, from the Search panel or from the Docs menu. To create a syntax search from the search panel, open a search panel, select the syntax option on the far right, open the drop-down menu to select the resource you want to use, as specified above, we'll use the Cascadia resource, open the query drop-down. And at this point, there are three options. To select one of a number of predefined templates to search for particular constructs, to reuse recent searches by clicking them, or to create a new syntax search. And for this video, we will create a new one. This opens the graphical editor used to create, modify, and execute syntax searches. Alternatively, syntax searches can be created from the Docs menu. To do this, open the Docs menu, click the New button, and select Syntax Search. And this would take you directly to the same point that we reached when starting from the Search panel. It's important to understand the different areas of this editing interface, so we'll look briefly at those. The two buttons at the top left are used to select the Editing Mode, the Show Details option, or to actually execute the defined search using the Search button. You can give the search a name by editing the name string, and we will call it New Syntax Search. On the right are options, again to use predefined templates or to select previous searches. You can specify the passages you want to run the search against using the range selector. And you can specify a different resource to use against which to execute the search. The currently blank area is where you construct your search, starting by clicking the plus sign to add the first search term. The options on the left correspond to those we saw in various tagged resources discussed in another video in this series. The options on the right provide different ways of combining elements. We will come back to look at those in a later video in this series. One of the searches we used in a previous video was defined like this. To start building this, we basically need to reproduce a section from the analysis resource, as shown here, with the actual structures we'll be searching for highlighted. As all the constructs we are interested in start with a phrase, choose a phrase as the first element to produce the first item in the construct. Now there are a range of options on the right that correlate to the particular term. Click any element in the defined search to see the options for it. If you examine the resource and hover your cursor over the specific element, you will see it as a nominal phrase. So select the nominal phrase type in the editor to match the pattern we are looking for. Hover your cursor over an element to see its connection points. Click the one on the right to add it as a subordinate entry, in this case, a terminal node. Adding a terminal node here is not actually something we see directly in the resource, but it does indicate the, the lowest or the, the furthest element in the structure, and so needs to be included before adding in the final element. Then add a word element and specify that it is an article using the morphology section on the right. And this completes that branch of the construct. The next phrase we need to add in is at the same level in the hierarchy as the terminal node. So click that element, then click its lower connection point and add in another nominal phrase. 
connect another terminal node, and then complete the branch by adding in another word. Specify the lemma we are searching for in the text and lemma lemma box. And then in the morphology box, specify that we are looking for a noun. Note that the morphology information is required if we were just specifying a general search that included a noun. As we're searching for a specific noun here, it is not strictly necessary, but it is included here in the video to demonstrate the principle. And this completes the search definition. Execute the search by clicking the search button at the top left to generate the results. Add in a translation if you wish to see corresponding results in your language. Our search currently returns 101 results, showing that this particular construct occurs 101 times in this resource. There are a number of ways of refining it to result in more precise matches, such as adding extra elements to the definition. As we saw earlier in the video, the resource we are using has a, the pattern shown here. So we could add elements to the front of the search to specify a subject function and a verbal clause. To start adding higher elements, click the phrase element on the left of the definition. Add in a clause function and specify that it is a subject function. Then using the same technique, add in a verbal clause to the left of that. Execute the search again to get the refined set of results where this particular construct is present. So that is the basic process in creating a syntax search, looking for patterns found in the analytically tagged resources. In later videos in this series will work through some further examples, highlighting additional techniques that can be used in search construction.